Welcome to Ask the Don, where we aim to answer your mountain bike related questions you send us via social media. All right there, all right. just here for Ask GMBN. Oh, all right, Ask GMBN. Let's get going. This one comes from Zach Thorpe and he asks, how do you prepare for your first race? That's a good question. Well, there's quite a lot of preparation goes into beforehand. You know, start the night before, get all your kit nice and organized, get it all laid out and packed up. Then I'd say have a really good big dinner. Yeah, don't forget, racing is supposed to be fun as well, so don't take it all too seriously. And Tim Damon also asked about the right training for racing. I guess that depends on the sort of racing you're doing, but try and tailor your sessions a couple of times a week to that race. If it's cross country, maybe an hour and a half of high intensity riding, downhill or enduro, more interval based stuff. And don't forget the skills work, it's really important. You want to make sure that you go into the race and you can handle any obstacles on the course. Matt Amchik asks, how about advice on when to use my dropper post? I finally got one. Hmm, great question and a really good upgrade as well. My best piece of advice would be to look ahead. If you do feel that there's going to be an obstacle in the trail that you want to drop your saddle on, just do it. Yeah, I use mine an awful lot and you'll find that actually it becomes really easy to use. You'll pick it up really quickly. I also like to use mine a lot when I'm cornering to get that seat out of the way so I can move my hips around to the side of the bike. So it's not only for sort of gnarly, steep obstacles. Charles Collard asks, how do you do drop off steps or bunny hops on steep terrain when you're already right over the back wheel? Well, you're right. You need to get your hips nice and far back on steep terrain and you do need to use your hips to lift the front wheel for these steps and drops. So you actually need to drop yourself forward for a split second. So I ride into something like this, to the back of the bike, drop forward, so that I've then got that movement to go right to the back wheel. You can see Scott do it here perfectly. Samuel Gresham, can you give me an idea on how to have more confidence on the trails? Well, it's a question we get asked an awful lot, actually. We've done a whole video on it, so check that one out. The link is coming up in the end board. It's also in the description down below. I would definitely say riding more often is a biggie, but also just try and identify the skills you're maybe not quite so good at and practice those. Check out our skills playlist where we've probably covered them already. And my little tip is just to get out riding with people who are a little bit better than you. They'll pull you down the trail and you'll pick up speed and confidence in no time at all. Josh Wright asks, do you trail the break in corners or try to get all the braking done before entry? Uh, yeah, most of the time I'm trying to do that. So trying to brake as hard as I can before the corner. So then I'm only asking my tires to grip that way and not that way and that way. However, it doesn't always work, steep corners, I will actually drag my rear brake, so I'll just be careful to come off the front brake, get that front tire grip in, and I will drag the back a little bit. Look around the corner and try and come off the back. But ideally, yes, you would be off both. What he said. Exactly. I can go. Charlie Smith says, how long have you all been on GMBN? And also, how long have you been riding a bike? Um, well, I've been at GMBN since the start, which was March last year, so almost a year. And I've been riding a bike since 1995, when I was 14. Uh, and I started racing straight away, within two weeks. Raced downhill for 15 years, uh, then raced enduro for three years. Then I've been coaching, and now I'm here doing this. What about you, Scott? Well, I'm the new boy to GMBN. I've yeah. been here since January this year, and I've been racing since I was 13 years old. Started with downhill, then changed to enduro, and now I'm here. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. There you go, there's hashtag AskGMBN. We love getting your questions in, so don't forget to send them. Leave us in the comments down below or on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. And for more great videos, check up here for a training playlist. And you can click down there and that'll take you through to our top 10 ways to gain confidence on your bike. And don't forget to subscribe. Just click right there in the middle. It's free. And Leave you get comments. And you get loads of great videos. Sorry, Scott. Leave comments, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Loves it.